I look back? I think I just came from over here. Oh, I think I just made this loop over here, so I don't think we're gonna find much anything interesting over here, other than a wall. Never mind. A wall and something to jump on. Right. I imagine there are more than eight more bubbles left in this entire area, so I probably didn't have to go after everyone in this entire area, but I'll take it. I think the platform is actually slightly easier if you go around the loop than what I'm doing here, but I don't know. There's much more, much more difficult platforming later in the game to be had, so I can use warm-up anyways, I guess. I guess I can confirm now that uh, lots of my difficulties with the platforming in this game were not just from the fact that there was a lot of input lag when I first played it on the PSP, due to issues with my own technical setup. It does still bug me that the game kind of takes control over your bottom screen for you and doesn't let you keep it on the screen you want it to be. Eh. There's this guy who always gets me. There we go. Revenge on him. And five more. There might only be that many bubbles here actually in total. I'm, I'm not sure now. I don't think there are any enemies below me here. I could be wrong. But we'll come back here anyways. Because the slug is beneath us, so we need to go catch the slug. And by that I mean just stalk him again after having already known he was here. And it would have, it would have even made more sense if he just didn't appear until about, right about now. Until Squidward told you about him. Never mind the fact that apparently, <laughs> between you telling Squidward about Squillian being here, which was the first time Squidward heard about Squillian being here. I'm curious what he says actually, he hasn't gotten rid of all the bubbles yet. Squidward finds out that Squillium went to the jellyfish fields and then ran away after seeing the slug. Well, I would happily do that if the game let me do so. But your tree home is locked. Okay, that was a little bit more violent than I was expecting. Come on. Why is it so hard to stand on these? Hey, look. There we go. Interesting way of wedging it there. Ah. You have to time this kind of carefully to not waste bubble power. Which is why I'm being kind of careful here. Of course, we're gonna have to come back here anyways, I believe. So now, I, could I not even talk to him earlier or something? No, oh, I don't know, I can't quite get up high up enough here. I don't know. Anyways. Yeah, just wait on him. Just each of us waiting for the other to do something. And the slug doesn't go anywhere too fast, evidently, so... I guess you can count on that. Except, I forgot that you actually have to go around the loop the other way. Because of that random wall. The unmarked one-way paths this game throws at you too. Another thing that bugs me in this game about wasting time frequently. 
Alright, back the other way around. It does look like it's actually every single enemy, then. It's a good thing that I assumed that was the case, or at least tried to account for that being the case, and actually took care of everyone on the left side, too, then. Should not go inside of the cave, because I'll probably respawn all the enemies. Hey. Aside from running kind of quickly, this guy's actually not too bad. I guess he is a little bit taller. Oh no, you don't have to get all the enemies, apparently. This guy, I think, has four. No? Three. Let's head on back anyways. This way around, just to be able to say we did so. Hello, Jelly. Oh, microphone. Ah, not quite as much as I would have liked. Can't get to the kelp forest from here, but we can get to where we need to be. I swear, every single time I have to press the left trigger at least twice to cancel the power up. I don't know why. I feel like the, the PSP version was that way too. I always feared it was a an issue with input or something on my end, but at this point, I don't think that's the case. Oh, come on. to the slug. And if you haven't actually seen this part of the game, I'm sure you'll enjoy this. Oh. I'm trying to jump in case you're in case you can't tell. Should not work either time, but oh well. You only noticed like the, the third time I spoke to you about it. Yep, chapter over. I, I guess they just don't feel like programming that boss play. Maybe they just ran out of time or something. I don't know. Oh, so we never see that talent show, so. Don't get your hopes up about that. No, oh, they actually take us to Boynton. That's pretty amazing. What are your hands doing there, SpongeBob? He's not really standing very neutrally. His his arms are at different angles. I never noticed that. What's with that? I would appreciate having different music in different places. And this game does have different music in different areas, but like in the chum bucket, for instance? Sure, it's really fun searching for the trash in here. Hey Karen, is Plankton trying to take over the world again? You should probably tell me if he was. I don't remember what it was you have to find here, actually. Of course, either way. I feel like I had to do it with a barrel somewhere. Not this one, apparently. I don't think you had to talk to Garen, but I'll do it anyways. Hey, Garen. Like, you should seriously just ask her directly, is he trying to take over Bikini Bottom again? 
Well, yes, I follow that logic, but... No, see, you don't even have to ask. If it wasn't for the fact that Karen says things that misled me for the entirety of this game, I'd actually label Karen my favorite character in this game. She was voice acting. Karen always had a nice voice. Alright, Rock Bottom. Rock Bottom is the first challenging place, I would say, in the game. Also, I think you have to come through here and find things in the Chumbucket at some point. Just not yet, apparently. So, I think at some point, stuff is suddenly just gonna appear in this barrel or something like that. Hi, Karen. I can never quite place, though, precisely how Karen's supposed to speak. She jumps between, like, very, well, for lack of a better term, robotic, and also very straightforward, casual speech. Like, even just now, she kind of did. Of course, here's the fun thing. Between every single chapter, the entire world gets rearranged, and you need to speak to everyone again to see if they have fun things to say to you. Rain Man is here now for some reason. I think you have to serve him food or something. Once he actually can hear you. I think you have to come back later and then he can hear you. Maybe you just talk to Prime Boy. Or maybe he just gets angry at you. Dude, I work here. <laughs> May I take your order? Whatever. Squidward is not working, evidently. No, uh, we have customers here. That doesn't mean going to do anything. See, no ways I can take them. <laughs> what was that patty I made for earlier? It's still, it's still in the window. Whatever. I feel like with a lot more love in it, well, and there are certain places this game has a nice attention to detail. Like, it is cool to be able to go around Bikini Bottom and talk to fallen inhabitants and see cameos of small characters and things like that. But at the same time, there's so many small things that, that aren't quite right that it actually really gets to me. <laughs> and it all falls apart. Like, it, it's. I can't quite believe that anybody actually lives here and that this is a functional world when we have weird things like what's happening at the Krusty Krab. I don't remember where Sandy is right now. Uh, I don't think we go on, go to the Industrial Park until something like next chapter? Industrial Park's pretty close to the end of the game. Uh, Patrick's right here right now, instead of the one really weird corner he shows up in at the one point. Uh, is there anything else for me to do at the, re in the residential district right now? I don't think there's actually much of anything for you to do at home. Also, I forgot. This is where the bus stop was here, so it's actually on the far right, the bus stop. Uh, this is how you get to Sandy's place. Is, is it? Quite remember. Okay, so if we're close to San where Sandy lives, we should go there. I wonder if Sandy's off to the left or the right. Okay, so Sandy's to the right of here, I believe. Yeah, I'll have to come back here at some point. And now I can go to Sandy's place, I think. And actually, Rock Bottom would not be a bad place to. To prepare to go to in terms of getting our jelly jars and whatnot. With with Rock Bottom being kind of the first difficult 
area, in my opinion. Or, well, difficult might be an overstatement, but you do get starved of checkpoints for a while. You don't basically have to do the entire level in one go, because the... The bus stop is actually basically at the end of the whole thing. It's a loop, strictly speaking, but, uh... You have to go through the whole level to actually get through the loop. To get to the other side of the loop. And the fun part about that is that... Take that granny. And the fun part about that is that since everything in this game always gets reset... Why are you here, Pearl? Every time you re-enter the area, you all also have to redo the loop every single time. Unless, of course, you teleport to the bus stop on the other side of it. Huh. Busy doing what? Whatever. Not as bad as the industrial park, though. The industrial park is the, the worst about that sort of thing, I think. Did I not actually need the... No, I don't need the water ball this time. Now I can go in here. Thank you. Perfect. For whatever reason, we don't need water in here. But yeah, so it would be a big pain to... Uh, guess that'll be useful later. It would be a big pain to die partway through rock bottom. I don't know if that happened to be the first time I played this or not. Sticker. Just stealing it. Water. From the first uh, Tree Dome episode, too. Saying does not have a door this time, apparently. On her Tree Dome. Or on her tree, that is. Oh, I need an episode, too. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you next time, and we'll... I don't think we have a reason to go home. We have a few other places to look, so we'll, we'll get on that. Bye, everyone.